In this video, we'll discuss the final steps before sending the loan to your processor. Remember that the more information you provide on the front end, the more efficient your processor can be in the initial processing of the loan. Please use the comment box to give us any details that you know of that are not evident on the loan application. Type your comment in the box, then click the green Add Comment button. It'll add your comment to the loan, and it will date and timestamp it. It'll also generate an email that will be sent out to your processor with your comment. The left side of the processing page contains the information bar. This is a drop-down box that will allow you to toggle from one type of information to another. You can edit that information by clicking the button below the drop-down box. For example, we'll add title company information to this loan. If you're using a new title company that you'll be using again, you can fill out the information and click Add Title Company to save it to our database. Then it will be available in the drop-down box the next time you use them. For this example, we'll select a title company from the drop-down box. Now click Save and Continue. And then navigate back to the processing page using the button in the top right hand corner. Now you'll see that the title company information is now available in the information bar. Two other very important pieces of information are the estimated closing date and the rate lock expiration date. We'd like you to add this on the front end. Now that we've updated the loan with all the important information, we're ready to click the loan and processor button. A pop-up box will appear to remind you to upload documents if you've not already. If you still need to upload documents, you may do so by clicking No. This will pull up your batch upload screen. You can also generate barcode cover sheets or add loan comments directly from this pop-up. Once you're finished, click Update Status. When the browser refreshes, the loan will be date and time stamped to tell you exactly when it was sent loan to processor. The loan is now in our queue and a processor will pick it up momentarily. Now if we take a look at the main pipeline page, we'll see one total loan in process and one in loan to processor status.